Hello everyone. So today I will be talking about corticotropin releasing hormone and other peptides that are related to it. To begin with, let us define what is corticotropin. So corticotropin is a hormone that originates in the pituitary gland. It acts on the outer part of the adrenal gland and it has its part on regulating the release corticosteroid hormones. The production of corticotropin is increased when stress is present. The corticotrophin releasing hormone is the one that activates the synthesis and release of adrenocorticotropic hormone from the pituitary gland. This action will lead to involvement in regards to stress, addiction, and etc. The corticotrophin releasing hormone is able to regulate the neuroendocrine, sympathetic, and behavioral functions in response to stress. Corticotropin releasing hormone acts via two distinct G-protein coupled receptors, namely, corticotropin releasing hormone receptor 1 and corticotropin releasing hormone receptor 2. Corticotropin releasing hormone receptor 1 expression is prevalent in brain areas responsible for sensory and motor control, such as the cortical mantle, olfactory bulb, hippocampus, amygdala, basal ganglia, medial and lateral hypothalamic nuclei, and cerebellum. In contrast, corticotropin releasing hormone receptor 2 is predominant in subcortical regions, including the lateral septum, bed nucleus of the stria terminalis, ventromedial hypothalamic nucleus, and medial and cortical nuclei of the amygdala. In the anterior pituitary, corticotropin releasing hormone receptor 1 mediates the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone in response to corticotropin releasing hormone. Corticotropin releasing hormone belongs to a neuropeptide family that includes urocortin 1, 2, and 3. These urocortins selectively bind both corticotropin releasing hormone receptors and, together with corticotropin releasing hormone, play crucial roles in controlling stress response, anxiety, depression, arousal, feeding behavior, energy metabolism, and digestive and cardiovascular function. The hypothalamus releases corticotropin in response to stress, which causes the anterior pituitary to release adrenocorticotropic hormone into the circulation. Adrenocorticotropic hormone then attaches to its receptor in the adrenal cortex, causing stress hormones like cortisol to be released. The hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA, axis is the name given to this entire system, which is responsible for adjusting fight or flight responses to stress. We've mentioned a while ago of a term called adrenocorticotropic hormone. And this time, we will discuss about that hormone. So, to give a quick recap, adrenocorticotropic hormone is a polypeptide tropic hormone being produced by the pituitary gland. Its primary purpose is to stimulate the generation and release of cortisol from the adrenal gland's cortex, outer section. So, glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and adrenal androgens are all stimulated by adrenocorticotropic hormone. It also takes part in stimulating adrenal hypertrophy and hyperplasia. So, in terms of diagnostic tools, the adrenocorticotropic hormone and corticotropin is used to test the functions and capability of adrenocorticotroph and adrenal function. The adrenocorticotropic hormone is also used for the same place where glucocorticoids are recommended. The only difference between the two is that suppression of pituitary happens over time for adrenocorticotropic hormone while glucocorticoids suppress the pituitary and adrenal gland quickly. The only weakness of adrenocorticotropin is that it cannot be administered through oral route unlike the glucocorticoids.